Hey everyone, it's Isabella and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would give you guys a small little room tour of my beauty setup. So, I got a ton of stuff from my mom, my sister, my mom's boyfriend, and my Grammy that helped, you know, bring all this together. So, I'm super excited to show you, but I just want to give a warning that just because I have all the stuff, it does not mean I'm trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Majority of the stuff I have is a gift, and some of the stuff I even purchased myself. And I'm very proud that I worked hard enough to purchase what I have, so I'm very blessed and I'm very happy for all the stuff that I have. And I just thought I'd share it with you. So, let's get on with the video. Alright, so this is where... Oh, that's my fingers. <laughs> Alright, so this is where... This is... The, the, the words. I'm probably not going to edit this because I don't feel like it. But I, this is the mirror that I usually use or I'll switch back to this mirror. This mirror is super cool. It actually lights up. Oh, there it goes. It went down. I got a new beauty blender. I can't wait to use it. So this one actually lights up. It's super cool. I'm just going to turn it off now. And then I guess I'll just go this way. This is my cup of makeup brushes. It's cool. It's in a Puerto Rico cup. That's eyeliner, by the way, so just ignore that. Mm, eyelash curler, basically. These are like the last two palettes of the using my mom's expired makeup challenge thing that I'm doing. So these are the last two. I gotta film those still, so I always have that there as a reminder. And I guess let's go to my makeup organizer. This is the top half. Um, I organized this by liquid lipsticks. This side's drugstore, and then the rest is kind of high-end. And then there's this one that's a brush. It doesn't fit in my cup, so I just put it there. So yeah, so these two... So majority of these are all Stila, except for that one. That one's Too Faced. So yeah, these are all the Stila ones. I've really been digging this one. What is this one? Rubino? That's what I got. Okay, I got it. Yay! That's Rubino. I've really been loving this color. It's really nice. And then these are all my foundations. This is my MAC Mineralize Foundation. I'm NC35. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, I don't know what shade this is. Oh, that's Toffee Pecan. It's a little dark for me, so I don't use it as much, but I do really like it. And then this is my Milani per Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I'm number 7 Sand. It's actually really nice. I like it for one, or I used to like it when I worked in retail, but we all know what happened there. <laughs> and then in the back here, I have more liquid lipstick. That's a NYX one. And then I have some ColourPop ones. These are all like really pink. That one's really nude. I had to find a way to work that in. Because the one pink is just way too pink and then one is just like a really light brown. So I can't really wear it that often. But I gotta find the, the right lip liner. And then more liquid lips. I love liquid lipstick. Um, these are tiny little testers of the Clinique. What is this called? Yeah, they're like Clinique chubby sticks, so they're very moisturizing. Not super pigmented, they're just like a fancy lip balm. I got a ton of those, so those are nice. Overview of all the makeup. Alright, now let's get to the drawers. This first drawer I have kind of like. Wow, you can't even see that. Sorry, guys. Um, this is what I use to set my eyebrows. Um, I have some meal spoon in here. Uh, most chapsticks don't work for me sometimes. I end up like getting some allergic reactions, so I just use meal spoon. Meal spoon. And then I have my Fenty concealer in here. I have my Better Than Sex mascara. And then I am also. Well, that's a skincare thing. I got it as a tester. It's pretty good. If you have dry skin, this definitely, this helps. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I looking for? Ooh. 
this is a lash serum i'm actually testing it out i'm still working on a video i kind of have to redo it though just because i fell off the wagon <laughs> that's okay and then you guys know i use shape tape to prime my eyes mm. lash glue i have a purple eyeliner in there but it's whatever it's whatever Now we come to highlighters. This is where I keep all my highlighters. This is the Master Chrome. If you guys didn't see my Lana Condor inspired look, you guys totally should. I use this highlighter. This is so good. I really love it. Mm, this is Artist Couture. I got a bunch of highlighters, I believe. My sister got me this cool like Sephora limited edition pouch with like a bunch of highlighters that I wanted so that was really cool. So I'm testing out a bunch of them. So far I really like the cover FX in Moonlight. This is really really nice. And then I also have Milk Makeup Highlight. That one's cool. Mm. Oh I have gum. Sorry guys. You're like hearing me chew. Um, I have a, ooh, I have a Stila Putty Highlight. This one's so fun to play with. There I am. It's so fun to play with. I got my mom Kitten. That's the, it's like a pinky highlight. She's addicted to it. And then I have a limited edition MAC highlight from one of their Christmas collections. This is my absolute favorite. It's gold, but when I put it on, there's like a little bit of a purple, pur purple, a purple reflect. So when you move your head, there's a little bit of purple when you see it. So that's super, super fun. And then I have a Fenty Beauty one and a high beam. Now I gotta put all this stuff back. I'm gonna laugh if this drawer falls out. Then we're gonna go to this one. I have some more highlighters. Oh, wow. I have some more highlighters. These are all the Becca cosmetic ones. They're super, super nice. Um, right now, I'm super obsessed with Opal. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm at Coco underscore Bella 1298. I actually opened this one day, and like the highlighter was like on top of the mirror. I'm just like, what the heck happened? I'll probably insert a clip towards the end or after this. What just happened here? What? Oh my god. Do y'all- do you guys see this? What happened? I haven't even dropped this. What the heck? It just popped out when I opened it. That's weird. Whoop. Okay. I don't know how to fix this. glitter I mean I guess that works so yeah I'm totally obsessed with opal so pretty um, blah, 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 blah. that's vanilla quartz this one I can't really wear because it's too light and it gives me kind of like a gray shadow on my cheekbones and I don't want that but usually if I do my sister's makeup I'll probably reach for this one since she's a lot lighter than me so that's cool and then I have two blushes this is they're both from Too Faced the peach one smells amazing. Is this focusing? Okay, that's better. Alright, now we're on to bronzers. Y'all already know Butter Bronzer is the best, and I mean the best, drugstore bronzer I've had ever. Usually it's hard for me to, to like buy makeup at the drugstore just because it's so hard to find my shade or to find stuff that works. Lipsticks, it's pretty easy, but like bronzers and stuff, it gets pretty hard. But this one, this is great and it smells great. One of the YouTubers that I like, Casey Holmes, she came out with um, a limited edition palette with Physician's Formula and it includes the butter bronzer and I really want to try it out. Super excited. And then I have the MAC bronzer and blush duo 
it's so hard to do this with one hand. Looks like that. Let me see if I could adjust the lighting so that way I'm not working in a shadow. Give me one second. Alright, I'm back. I think this worked a little bit better. Oh well. Um, this is Sugar Beauty bronzer. I got this from one of my mom's Ipsy bags. It's really nice. I'm still working with it. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, kind of like Laguna from NARS, but just without the shimmer in it. I really like this. I use this sometimes. And then Wet n Wild bronzer. This is a bit too dark for me, but y'all already know I make things work. There used to be a dragon on there, but since I use it so much, it's kind of gone. But this is so soft and so buttery that this is this is really nice. Definitely invest in a Wet n Wild bronzer. You'll be saving your money. Then I have a Lisa Frank bronzer from an Ipsy bag. I can't believe I just dropped that. Alright, I got it. It literally looks the same as the Wet n Wild one, but this one actually is a little bit lighter, so I use this pretty often. But this is really nice. I love Lisa Frank. Such cute packaging. And then, then there's Laguna by NARS. This is like, I've, ooh, I have been using this bronzer since middle school. This will forever be my go-to. This is just a cute little travel size that I have. I have so much bronzer that I don't feel like I need to buy the bigger one just yet. So, I'm just I'm holding off. Wow, I knew that would happen. And then we have some eyeshadow palettes. Um, This is a setting powder from Tarte. I'm actually going to do a review on this and like two other things I got, so stay tuned for that. I have a NYX red eyeshadow, which is super fun. I played a poppy flower in the Wizard of Oz, and we needed red eyeshadow, and that was kind of like my go-to. I have some MAC eyeshadows. Those are fun. I definitely want to play with that one in the summer. That one's so fun. Yeah, those are pretty. Wow, I just keep dropping everything. This is the Alea MAC palette. I love this. It's really fun. There are a lot of shimmers, but that's okay. Because I like glitter and stuff. <laughs> and then we have the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession literally an obsession this is my go-to palette for when i wear makeup to school literally just that bottom row i wear to school and boom i got a look going <laughs> and then we all know the Too faced sparkling pineapple palette if you guys haven't seen my video you should totally watch it it's great and then i have some limited edition Too faced palettes these are from one of their christmas collections they're good this girl they still smell good yes this is a peppermint mocha one looks like that comes with six eyeshadows blush smells awesome i try not to get a ton of limited edition stuff wow i dropped it just because most of the time they're ju it's just the same thing just reformulated this is the eggnog latte. This one smells the best. Six eyeshadows again. And then I dropped the gingerbread one. Great. This is the gingerbread cookie one. This one came with a bronzer instead of a blush. I definitely reach for this one more just because I can get more smoky looks. And that's fun. This gold shade is amazing. Then we have this one. This is where I kind of keep my single shadow. So this is the Selena pink color if I can open it it's the pink one I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because people are going to judge me <laughs> this is the purple one and Selena this is so pretty 
And then I have a cool trolls one. I haven't dug into this one yet. I just don't. I just don't know what other eyeshadows to match it with, so I gotta look for that. And then this is just a purple one in Smoky, I believe. Smoky Mauve. Absolutely amazing. Definitely get this. This is like amazing for when you go to the club and stuff. But I wouldn't know since I'm not 21 yet. <laughs> July, though. July 12th is my birthday, y'all. This is. The adorable NYX palette. I use this sometimes. I don't use it that often. I probably use this on my sister more than I do me. Then I have the Swamp Queen palette. This was an absolute amazing gift for my sister's boyfriend. The same with the pink mirror. Totally shout out to Mario because he knows me. <laughs> uh, my palette is just broken. There's just a it's just the border came off. I got a super glue back on. Like look how amazing. The bronzer is great, the blush is great. The highlight, it's a little too late for me, but I make it work. It's just so pretty. I just love this palette. And definitely reach for this more in the summer. Okay, now it will close. So there's that. And then my first, not my first. This is my first, this is like my, maybe second. I'm gonna say second. Pa second palette I ever got. It's the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. This palette got me hooked on Urban Decay. Uh, most likely these shades are expired, but um, they don't smell weird or anything, so I still use them time to time. That black shade, Blackout, oh my god. Absolutely amazing. That blue one's really good too. Absolutely awesome. And then the brown one's great. Oh my god. This palette is just you could go from like every day to like going out. It's the it's very nice. I really really like it. You're going to the side. And that's just a little ring holder with seashells. I don't know where these seashells came from, but I found them so I just put them in the dish. Just a random side note. And this is where I keep all my longer palettes. I have the Naked Heat. Absolutely amazing on anyone with dark skin. So I definitely love this palette. I have the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This is like my second palette ever. And I'm absolutely blown away by it. If I can open it. I don't use it that much just because I don't wear a ton of pink. But it's still in really good condition. It still works. Still great. Looking good. And it actually looks like a brown shade, but it's like a dark mauvey pink. So that's weird. It shows up weird on camera. Oh. There we go. Breaking all my stuff again. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and then I have the Too Faced Peach Palette. You guys, Too Faced knocks it out of the park with scenting their stuff. It won't break you out or anything, but it just smells amazing. So definitely, oh, definitely invest in it. Wow. Ugh. All right, now we have moved on to the other section of eye eyelash eyeshadow. Highlight blush. Just kind of stuff that doesn't fit in there. <laughs> um, I got two Morphe palettes back here. I'm not going to take them out just because it will fall. These are all my Ardell lashes. Y'all, oh my god. Like, they were falling down, so I just used lash glue to stick them back on. <laughs> but look at the baby Demi Wispies. I ruined them. I love these things. Those are my go-to. Or like the wispies in general. Yo, those lashes. I don't have to trim them or anything. And then we all know the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. That's going to be amazing for the fall. I'm super excited. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. I also have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Highlight Palette. I stole this from my mom, but she didn't really wear it, so I took it. <laughs> but she said I could, so it was okay. Um, I have the Tarte, oh, there it goes, everything's crashing down. 
I have the Tarte Mermaid palette. I love this. I got the whole mermaid collection. If I can open this. Man, I can't do this. Hold on. Tarte Mermaid palette. I love this. Look how cute this is. Mermaid goals. I'm in love with this. I got the sticker from one of my friends in theater. So I just put it on because it just fit. Look at this. I believe by the time this video goes up, there is like... I did a look with this palette, so you guys should totally check that out. I mean, you should totally check out all my videos, but like, this one's a fun one too. <laughs> oh my god, everything's falling. And then, that's my Too Faced setting spray. I love it. Ooh, everything's falling. And then I have a Black Radiance palette. Um, it took me forever to find like the right concealer shade, so I ended up using like that one for concealer, that one for contour, and then I ended up using this in a play where I had to look somewhat dead, so that was great. Bum, 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 bum. I actually have some false eyelash tips. I got these tips from Nicole Concilio. She's great. I really like her, so I just remembered to put that on my big mirror. Ignore that desk. It's messy, but you know. There, I have another mirror too, gang. <laughs> I'm, I'm a loser. <laughs> and then we have some skincare stuff. This was the Tarte Mermist perfume with like glitter and stuff. I use that to just wet my brushes, brushes, so that way I don't run out of setting spray. Um, I have the Tarte Merskin. I love this. Um, I still have the. The Pixi Glow Tonic. This is great too. I noticed that whenever I use this, the pores on my nose do shrink. So I would definitely invest in that. Um, I have the Tarte Mermaid Waves for your hair. I don't really like it, but it smells really nice. And then I have this. I got this from my dermatologist because I have some acne problems. That's okay. I ain't ashamed of it. I got some more lipsticks. This is more like a balm from Revlon. It's a really nice berry color. I got a Tarte lip gloss. This is from the Mermaid Collection. This is a great lip gloss. It's not like super sticky or anything. It's amazing. I have a MAC Trolls lip gloss. I thought the packaging was so cute. And that was also a gift. Shout out to my tia Adriana because she got that for me. Um, I think I got this when I went to MAC to get my makeup done for the first time, so I got that. Or maybe I took this from my sister. I don't know. I might have taken this from my sister. Um, I have a dupe, or not a dupe, I have another... I have, I have two of the same lipstick, so I haven't opened this one yet, so I have that as a backup. And then that MACA, that MACA, oh my god. I, why can't I talk? I gotta slow down. <laughs> Um, that's just an, uh, an empty lipstick from Max. I'm saving up so that way I could get a free item. So that's fun. And these are the rest of my lipsticks that are in a tube. I have this organized in a certain way. Let me adjust the lighting to see if you guys can see it better. Alright, and that's a better view of all the lipsticks I have. This first row right here is going to be all the nudes. This is going to be the reds, the purples, and the pinks. This one looks brown. You know, I mean, technically it is like a brown nude color, but it comes off really pink on me, so I have that in the pink row. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have all the Selena ones. I worked so hard for these, and I'm just like, I can now lose these. <laughs> then I have all the Urban Decay ones from the Naked Heat collection. I got these cute little mini ones for Christmas. They're super fun. Um, that one is from a previous Christmas. Also limited edition. Love it. I have some drugstore. I have this cool black lipstick. I love black lipstick. I want to get the Rihanna one from Fenty Beauty. I forgot what it's called, but it's a matte one, and I totally am in love with that. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get that one. And then I have some more brushes right here. These are kind of like my affordable slash limited edition ones like I have some Sephora ones right here that's um a poster that I really like um but anyways back to my brushes um 
Yeah, so these are Sephora and brushes that came with my eyeshadow palettes. These are the fine ones, so like any angled brushes. Um, I got some Hot Topic brushes and some 5 and Below. More 5 and Below. And this one also didn't fit in my cup, so I just have a little holder for it. And then I ignore the chopsticks. <laughs> These are actually for your hair. They're for fashion. They're so cute. I got them in an anime convention. And then these are all my lip liners. So that's fun. And then that's Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> and then for the grand reveal. Sorry, that's like super bright. This is my new setup. I got this on Amazon, or I didn't get it. My family got it for me. Like, that's where my phone goes. That's the light. It actually has a couple different settings. So this is the warm natural lighting, even though it looks crazy. Um, that's the on and off button. Oops. That's just the white light. So this is the light that Sephora uses. It's actually not the best when you're looking for foundation so you actually want to make sure to get a warm lighting so that way it looks more natural and then i don't know what this one is i forgot what that one is like i think this one's a mix between the warm and the light one not too sure like i could also like brighten it or lower it that's cool then back to that one I usually have the brightness up all the way for when I film, just so y'all can see. Alright everyone, and that's it for the tour. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I just want to say again that just because I am showing you like all the makeup I have, it, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Majority of my stuff is a gift, was a gift, or I've purchased myself. I used to work two jobs, so I definitely have a lot of makeup. I spend it on makeup <laughs> but um I just want to say again thank you all so much for watching please like this video give it a thumbs up tell your friends about it maybe share it you know tell them to subscribe tell them how cool I am <laughs> that wasn't very cool but whatever um and yeah thank you all so much for watching I just reached 43 so that'd be so that is very very awesome thank you so much for all 43 of you you guys mean so much to me and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video so i'll see you guys later don't forget to subscribe hey if you're new don't forget to subscribe you guys know you're gonna come back <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye